Okay, boys and girls, I'm looking at page 80 here of Intermat. So it's your Wednesday work. Um, for this, I would recommend going back to the chapter on measures in which we compared milliliters with liters. We converted between centimeters and meters, between kilometers and meters, between grams, kilograms, tons, all of that, okay, and revise it. Also, um, also, um, I just wanted to say that there's one page that we didn't do, okay? And for example, in number 2A, where there's um, HM and DAM, we didn't cover that, okay? So I'm going to just put on the sheet, there are a couple of questions that you do not need to do. Now, if you want to go back and look at those pages, I will. you can do them, you can attempt them, of course, okay? But I'm going to tell you which ones you do not need to do. Um, I'll also look up the videos that I use to explain it and I'll link them I'll link them to the document in case you want to go back over them right but um, re remember the key to doing these type of exercises is to write them both using the same unit for example if you look at one and the first one in number one it's four meters is and then on the other side it's four thousand centimeters so think how many centimeters are in a meter and if there are that many centimeters in a meter, how many centimeters are there in four meters? Okay, so convert four meters into centimeters and then see which side is bigger and choose the less than, equal to, or greater than sign. Remember, think of those signs, the less than and greater than signs as crocodile jaws. And the jaws are always open towards the bigger amount because the crocodile is very hungry. Okay, it's a tip that you learn in year two or something, but I think it's very useful. I always think of it. So number one, you can do that. Number two, you have to put them in order. And like I said, you won't have to. You don't have to do number A. You don't have to do two part A. But do two part B and C. And then number three, um, there are some word problems. Okay, and you can do um, number three A and B. Okay, so I'll detail that on the sheet, um, on the worksheet, and here. There are only there's only one set of smiley faces, whereas I think that there would be it would be more useful if there were three smiley faces on this one, three sets of smiley faces. But just fill in the smiley faces for the page in general. Okay.